1,898 earthquakes, 33 of which exceeded a magnitude 5.0 or greater, unusual movement, anomalies, global unrest, seismically, economically, and more. Kick back, folks, and brace yourself, because this has been one interesting week. Hey folks, Ira here. I hope you've all had a fantastic week. I want to thank you for tuning in to the Earthquake Report. For the record, today is June the 26th, 2016. This video will speak of earthquake data spanning from June the 18th through June the 24th. It was on this day in 1989 when a 6.2 struck Hawaii. Five people were injured, five homes destroyed, and about 100 homes were damaged. Landslides occurred in several places and blocked a major highway. A small tsunami was generated with a maximum wave height of nearly two feet. This is what's happening. Earlier this week, the United Kingdom voted to exit from the European Union. An incredible 17.4 million votes were cast in favor of independence, freedom from government control, and censorship. Equally amazing is the number of votes that were cast in favor of staying. In total, 33,551,983 votes were submitted. It is in my opinion that the good guys scored during this event, and it marks a blow to the one world government. What are your thoughts on this? Google and Facebook are deploying an automated system to block extremist videos and posts. This sounds like censorship in the guise of security to me. Hmm. A Louisiana mother is battling to retain her children after she punished them for a B&E at her neighbor's home. The single mother of six apparently found out that three of her boys, ages 10 to 13, broke into a neighbor's house and stole property. After spanking the kids with the belt, she was taken to jail and her other children were removed from the home. What are your thoughts on this, folks? Did she go too far? Has the local government? Comment down below. Finally, the June Booted's meteor shower will peak between tonight into tomorrow, June the 27th. This is a very, very fickle meteor shower. Most years, it features very little activity. However, there have been years in which it produces, like the Perseids, with 100 plus meteors per hour. I'll be hiking tonight, and I'll keep you aware of what I see via our Facebook site. So check that out. Also on this day, in the year 2000, the first map of the human genome, which required decoding of more than 3 billion biochemical letters of the human DNA, was completed. That's pretty awesome. All right, earthquake report time. Here we go. As mentioned, we finished last week off with 1,893 earthquakes. This, along with today's and yesterday's quakes, brings our monthly total to 8,499. For historical reference, a year ago today, we clocked in 221 earthquakes. The strongest to strike the planet then was a 5.7 that hit Willow, Alaska. For those interested, Willow is part of the Anchorage, Alaska Metropolitan Statistical Area. At the 2010 census, the population was 2,102. This community got its start when miners discovered gold on Willow Creek. In fact, by 1954, Willow Creek was Alaska's largest gold mining district, with a total production approaching $18 million. In June 2015, a large wildfire burned thousands of acres of wilderness, numerous structures, and forced the closure of the George Parks Highway, severing the road link between Anchorage and Fairbanks. Interesting. Well, folks, this has certainly shaped up to be an interesting week. Not only have we experienced an increase in earthquake swarms when compared to just a month ago, we have experienced an increase in earthquakes that fell into the magnitude 6.0 or greater category. Four in total were experienced, the majority of which struck around the Ring of Fire and the Pacific Ocean. A 6.3 hit Papua New Guinea on Tuesday the 21st. This struck just off the coast at 3.19 a.m. local time. Fortunately, no reports of damage or injuries were made. A 6.6, .6, which was later downgraded to a 6.3, hit Vanuatu on Sunday the 19th, and on Monday the 20th, this area experienced a 6.0. Finally, the Mid-Atlantic Ridge experienced a rare 6.1 on Tuesday the 21st. 
Interesting note, the Atlantic Ocean is bisected by the Ocean Ridge, a margin between tectonic plates. The Ocean Ridge system circles the entire planet, though the fact that so much of it is on the deep sea bed means that it's seldom visible. This system is driven by upwelling molten rock along the ridge, forcing the tectonic plates apart, generating strains and creating earthquakes. Intermediate sized earthquakes are by no means uncommon along the ridge though, even if they pass largely unnoticed. 29 earthquakes fell within the magnitude 5 scale. 58% of these quakes fell along the Ring of Fire. The most notable earthquakes that hit this basin of the Pacific Ocean were a 5.9 in Japan, Chile with a 5.5, Argentina with a 5.5 as well, New Zealand with two 5.2 earthquakes and a 5.1, the remaining locations hit were Afghanistan with a magnitude 5.4, various ocean ridge areas including the Pacific Antarctic Ridge, and the northern Mid-Atlantic Ridge with a 5.0 and a 5.2, the South Georgia and South Sandwich Islands with a 5.2, the Scotia Sea with a 5.5, and the Ascension Island region with a 5.4 and a 5.3. We have registered 89 earthquakes that fell within the magnitude 4 range. This boils down to roughly 13 per day, which is actually above average for the planet. The most noteworthy earthquakes in this scale include a series of earthquakes that hit the Reykjanes Ridge, five in total that had an average magnitude of a 4.7, Indonesia with 14 earthquakes averaging a 4.6, Chile with 9, the average magnitude being a 4.5, Japan with 7, the average magnitude being a 4.6, and a 4.2 that hit Italy. The remaining earthquakes struck here in the United States. We'll start with Hawaii, which has clocked in 59. That is roughly 8.4 earthquakes per day. The strongest to strike was a noteworthy 3.6 that hit the volcano on Monday the 20th. Speaking of Hawaii, they have enacted its first state law in which it will place gun owners into a database. I seem to remember another government entity doing this some years ago. In 1938, what became known as the Night of the Broken Glass, the German Jews were ordered to surrender all their weapons and the police had the records on all who registered them. Even those who gave up their weapons voluntarily were turned over to the Gestapo. Hmm. Alaska experienced 573 earthquakes. This breaks down to nearly 82 per day. That's right in line with normal, the strongest being a 5.0 that hit False Pass on Saturday, June the 18th. For more information concerning this earthquake and the False Pass area, please see our previous video. Washington clocked in 64 earthquakes. This equates to 9 per day. This too is about average for the Evergreen State. The strongest to hit was a 2.9 that struck Lakeland South. Swarm activity was present, primarily with Bridgeport experiencing 12, Eatonville with 7, Morton with 6, Packwood with 9, and Amboy with 10. The average magnitude for all these quakes was only a 0.9. Oregon has been incredibly quiet. Only 11 were registered over the past 7 days. 64% of these earthquakes hit Lakeview, the average magnitude being only a 1.3. California has experienced 727 earthquakes. This breaks down to roughly 104 per day. This too is about normal for this section of the west coast. It's good to see the number of earthquakes return to normal for this area. The most powerful experienced over the past week in the sunny state was a 3.9 in Brawley, Cobb with a 3.3, a 3.1 in Big Bear Lake, and a 3.0 in Ridgemark. Swarm activity was limited to the usual locations. This includes Anza with 123, Cobb with 52, the Mammoth Lakes area with 46, and the Geysers with 106. Nevada clocked in 160. This too is about average for the state as it breaks down to nearly 23 quakes per day. The strongest experience was only a 2.6 in Warm Springs. Speaking of Nevada, you will be unhappy to know that this state no longer registers dead last for its lackluster education system. Oh no! They are now second to last. Only New Mexico fares worse in its overall education outcomes in the latest Kids Count report. Speaking of New Mexico, we see that they were hit with a rare earthquake on Sunday the 19th, this being a 2.9 in Raton. Raton just so happens to be our location of interest. Raton is the Spanish term used for mouse. Literally, it means small rat. Anyways, the Raton range 
and Raton Peak are located immediately north of the town. The Raton Range is a 75 mile long ridge that extends east of the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. Raton Pass has been used by Spanish explorers and Indians for centuries to cut through the rugged Rocky Mountains, but the trail was too rough for wagons on the Santa Fe Trail. Raton is one of the famous sites for viewing the KT Boundary, also known as the Iridium Layer. Rocks in this area have been studied for evidence of the Iridium Anomaly, cited as evidence of a large meteor impact that caused extinction event that killed off non-avian dinosaurs as well as many other species roughly 65 million years ago. Anyways, Utah has experienced 15. The strongest to hit was a 2.2. No unusual swarms have been registered. Montana has registered 42, 69% of which originated from West Yellowstone. The strongest of these earthquakes actually originated from there, this being a 3.4 that hit on Monday the 20th. Idaho registered 2 all week, these being a 2.8 in Chalice and a 1.2 in Amman. Wyoming clocked in 11, all of which hit Old Faithful Geyser. The strongest experienced was a 2.6 and a 2.3. The average magnitude for all 11 earthquakes is only a 1.3. Oklahoma clocked in 16, the average magnitude being a 2.8. The strongest to strike was a 3.7 in Fairview and a 3.3 in Alva. Kansas clocked in 1. This was a 2.6 in Anthony. The New Madrid seismic fault experienced considerable movement last week. We saw Missouri hit with three earthquakes, this being a 1.1, a 2.3 in Crystal City, and a 2.1. Not only this, but Ridgely and Dyersburg, Tennessee experienced movement along the New Madrid. Eight earthquakes originated from Ridgely. They had an average magnitude of a 1.3, and Dyersburg experienced only one. This was a 1.4. Not to be left out, the North American Craton experienced movement as well. We saw Sweetwater, Tennessee with a 2.3, Colonial Heights, Tennessee with a 1.9, Maine with a 1.7, and New York with a 0.5, care of Champlain. Finally, our neighbors to the north registered 18 earthquakes. The strongest experience was a 2.9 in Mayo, Canada. So there you have it, folks. There's your weekend review and our coverage of recent events. Help spread the word of this channel by posting this video to sites like Reddit, Facecase, BeforeIt'sNews.com, etc. That would go a long way in helping us out. And that is it for the Earthquake Report. If you experienced an earthquake today, or if you would simply like to chat, please post down below. I would like to hear from you. Make certain to like and subscribe, share if you feel inclined. Also, if you like the social media thing, you can link to us via the standard allotted social sites in the description. We'll end this report with a video feed from our favorite star. Guys, stay safe. Have a great night. Hoorah!